1941, the Ministry of Defence were keeping a secret from the people of Moncton Farley and the rest of the world. They were busy converting an old mine into what's called a central ammunition depot, which was to be filled with 350,000 tons of bombs beneath the houses of Moncton Farley, without the locals knowing what was going on. Today we explore the parts still accessible of the ammunitions depot and work our way into the parts of the old mine that wasn't used by the MOD. This is what's left of the over one mile long tunnel that was used to take the bombs up to the ammunitions depot by two conveyors deep into the hillside. The first half of the tunnel is of a box construction. Around halfway up the tunnel, this changes into a more conventional arch type tunnel. Guessing this was due to the amount of weight from the hill above, deep underground. I think I might have lied, you know. I think it might be more than a mile. Maybe it's more like two miles. No. Or is that the end now, Carl? I think it might be. Uh, can't tell. Hello! Well, it didn't echo much that way, so it must be close to the end. As we get deeper and deeper into the tunnel, we start to wonder, is this ever going to end? Well, we're at the end. Well, I say the end. It's not actually the end, is it? That is where this now meets the bunker, which is on the other side of the mine we're in. You can't actually get up in there. They've done a pretty good job to try and keep people out, didn't they? But we then headed back down the tunnel and through the woods heading towards one of few entrances to the old mine to show you guys what it would have been like underground. Do you recognise anything? <laughs> well, down there is the entrance to the mine. Oh, yeah. Megan's face. They're literally down a dark hole. We then squeezed ourselves one by one through this tiny hole, barely big enough to squeeze through. Abby's in. Do you think this is your helmet? You're not tightened it? No. Oh, that is, because it's got my clip on it. Yes. That's how you know the difference. That's why you have to have a helmet on, because you keep hitting your head. Hello. Well, this is one of the first chambers, and that, that hole up there, is a big collapse. That's the, and that is mud come straight out of the woods from above. After we made our way deeper into the mine, it was hard to imagine what it would have been like working down here with candles. As you can see, it's hard enough to see with modern torches, let alone a tiny candle.
These are the troughs used to water the horses. It's almost unbelievable to think of a horse underground. As we made our way deeper and deeper, it gets more and more dangerous. This is all that's left of one of the original carts that would have been pulled by the horses. Around halfway into the mine we come across a door. This is where the ammunition depot meets the old mine. It is the door to hell. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't get into the ammunition depot as this was taken over by a company that stores documents. After we found the door, we retraced our steps and found our way back to daylight. We wouldn't recommend trying any of this as it's highly dangerous. Some of us climbed the folly and made a new friend before heading home.